Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is a Tuesday afternoon, a really nice Tuesday afternoon. The wind is blowing. The sun keeps peeking out, but for the most part it's gray, and you know I love that. I have a video about Shaw's today. I know I've been promising you guys some scoop on Shaw's. You know, I kept saying how they're tired of hearing about it. But I am going to post this one because I want you guys to know just how hard I did try to continue doing the Shaw's flyer, even though I had many reasons I didn't want to do it. The main reason I wanted to continue doing it was for you guys, for my Shaw's fans. By the end of this video, you'll know why I didn't. Yesterday was the second Monday that I did not go pick it up. The second best Monday of my life. <laughs> First, I have to recap. Please excuse me looking at notes, but I want to make sure I get dates correct. Some of this is going to be old news to many of you. I just feel I need to recap just so you don't have to go back and watch the previous videos to have this make sense to you. I will have the links to the previous videos if you want, if you want to go watch those. I'm going to try to make this quick because i got a lot to say and I don't want it to take too long. My glasses seem to be fogging. <sighs> First... You guys know, but for those of you who don't know, I have been scanning the Shaw's Flyer for three, uh, over three years. I believe it was three years last October. And I scan it, I put it up, we use it to see what sales are coming on for the next week. I've always been stressed about going to pick up the flyer, even if in a perfect world where everything runs smoothly. I still stressed and worried because I suffer from great social anxiety. And just the anticipation of knowing I have to go in the store and that I might have to speak to someone about the flyer would make me sick starting on Wednesday. Wednesday through Monday, I hated it. Monday, I'd pick up the flyer. Tuesday was my day of rest. Phew, I don't have to do this for another week. Then I'd start stressing the very next day. One of the other reasons I didn't want to post it anymore is because I was just getting sick of doing it. Did it for a long time. Just ran its course. Then another reason is... The financial end of it. A coupon blog just can't earn like it used to. So that was another reason that I decided I had to stop. Now we're going to go back to January 4. Back on January 4, I went in to pick up the flyer. I went into the bottle room first. It wasn't there. I went over to customer service. It wasn't there. I went to the back room and there were two women back there who said that the flyer did not come in and it would not come in until the end of the week, specifically Friday. I go in on a Monday. So I was like, are you guys sure? It's always here. I mean, it's always delivered on a Monday. There are times where Shaw's wants to hold the flyer back and not let it out into people's hands until Friday. And when Shaw's does that, I understand that. They have the right to say we don't want to give it out. I'm good with that, but they were telling me it wasn't there. In the past, there's been times that they've told me it's not there, and with a little bit more digging, a little bit more running around, they magically find it. It's just got put in the wrong department or whatever. So I was not convinced that the flyer wasn't there, and I didn't give up asking. Let me take these off, because everything in my mind was telling me that flyer is here. So then I went and found somebody else, I think in the dairy aisle, if I remember right, in the sour cream section. And I asked him if he knew if the flyer was here. He says, I don't know, but you can go ask the grocery manager. He's down there. The grocery manager's name is Jason. Jason and I are not like lovey-dovey. Uh, he just, he's very serious face, and he's got that kind of little bit of a... Um, that power trip kind of thing going, you know, where, you know, he's the boss and he likes to be the boss. And I don't like that kind of person. I really just, I just don't. It's just not necessary. He's, he's there working for Shaw's and he should be very nice and friendly to all people, including me. Okay, so I see Jason and I asked him, is the flyer here? And he said, yes, it's here, but you can't have it. I was like, wait a minute, hold your horses. Didn't do that at all, but just thought it was a good visual. <laughs> so I said to Jason, dear Jason, no, I said to Jason, oh, but before, when I talked to the two girls in the back room, did I mention? I don't know what I mentioned now. I don't feel like rewinding to listen. I know I specifically said to them, 
Is it that it's not here or is it that it's here and you can't give it to me? Did I mention that? Because that's important because I really came out and asked them. Sometimes they don't want us to have it. I would just like to know, is it here? And if you tell me it's here but you can't have it, I can understand that. I might still go find out why, but I can, I can understand that. But they were clear it wasn't here. It was coming on Friday. Okay, fast forward. I'm with Jason now. And Jason says, yeah, it's here, but you can't have it. And I said, geez, I was just told it wasn't here. You know, it's like, you know, they didn't have to tell me that. He's like, oh, they probably didn't know it wasn't here. I said, but they said it was coming on Friday. To me, it sounded like, this will make more sense later, but to me, it really sounded like, and I felt like, they were told to say that. It just didn't make sense to me that they're back there and that the flyer is indeed in this building and they don't know. So Jason is like, no, you can't have it this week. And I said, well, you know, okay, let me talk to Marie. Did I know Marie was out at that point? I don't think so. And he said, I don't know if that's when I learned that Marie was out on medical leave. She's the store manager. But he said, uh, Deb, somebody named Deb was taking the place of the store manager temporarily. And I said, well, I'd like to talk to her. And he said, she's just going to tell you the same thing. She's not going to let you have it. I insisted a couple times, you know, well, let me just, I just would like to meet her. I'd like to talk to her. We go out front and he calls her and now we're standing kind of like, you know, like by the registers. So we're standing there and Deb comes up and he said, you know, she wants the flyer. And she says, oh, sure, she can have the flyer. Well, he, instead of saying, oh, that's so nice. Isn't that great? We were told, you know, maybe I didn't know. and But yes, if she says you can have it, then you can have it. But no, instead, he was like angry and wanted to tell uh, Deb repeatedly that I'm not supposed to get it. And she said, the flyer is here. It's going out in the mail. She can have the flyer. So one of the girls who was out back in the... Um, in the back room where I went, the two girls were back there saying that the flyer was coming in on Friday. One of them walks by and Deb says, can you go get her a flyer? And she looked at me and I looked at her and she walked right to the register, picked up a flyer and brought it to me. So not only did she know they were there, but she knew that they were up front. So that, that was so uncomfortable because I wanted to say to her, what? What? You just stood there and told me it wasn't here. You know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Didn't like that at all. We ended our conversation there, and as I walked away, Jason was still talking to Deb, grocery manager, talking to store manager, temporary store manager. You know, I wasn't supposed to have the flyer. They wanted to hold it back, blah, 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 blah. There was never once a, uh, gee, Starling, I'm glad this worked out for you. You know? So, Okay. Now let's fast forward to, and I cried in the car after that because it was so upsetting. I'm quite sure I cried. I must have cried. You'll have to go watch the video, see if I cried. I'm a crybaby, so chances are very good I cried in that video. <laughs> I cry so often that I have a playlist for it now. So now we're going to fast forward to March 14. I go in for the flyer. The flyer's not there. I'm told. So by this point, you know that I've heard this before, just heard it in January. So my thing is, I want to make sure it's really not here. So I run around, I go to the bottle room, I go to customer service, I go out back, couldn't find anybody out back, even though I was like, hello, hello. Nobody came to my rescue. So I um, see a guy and I ask him, do you know, can you go out back and see if the flyer's here? He's like, oh, I don't think it came. He's like, uh, the grocery manager's up front. So that's Jason, my boyfriend. And he said, uh, you could go talk to him. So I see Jason. I go up to Jason. I'm like, hi, doll. <laughs> and he looks at me in his usual serious face. He's so happy to see me. And I asked for the flyer, and he said it didn't, it didn't come in. And I said, is it that it didn't come in, or is it that it's here and you just can't give it to me? He says, no, it didn't come in. So now I see our new store manager. She's the one who was on medical leave. She's back. So I don't know if she ever knows what went on in January. She says something like, uh, yeah, you can go look for the flyer or whatever. So Jason takes off to go look for the flyer. We're kind of at the front of the store. I see him head in the direction of like the bottle room and customer service. Now Marie and I start talking. So I don't see if Jason goes out back 
to the big back room to see if the flyer's there. So at this point, Marie and I are just talking about her medical leave and how she is and this and that. She was filling me in on that. Jason comes back and says, no flyer. And I said, did you go out back? Because I didn't see him go out back. And he was like, yeah, I went out back. And he, you know, he just wasn't, you know, he just wasn't liking it. <laughs> he ends up walking off and I was like to Marie, would you mind, pretty please? really going to check and see if that flyer is here. I said, because I have an issue with Jason, and he doesn't like me. And I said, you know, there was a, a time when you were out that I was told the flyer wasn't here. She's like, yeah, I, yeah. She goes, I, they filled me in a little bit on that. So she goes, Let, let's go out back. Let's go see. So she take, we walk out back together. She goes in the back room. She comes out. She goes, no, I do not see it. I'm gonna go to another department. So she goes back to like the produce room and back there. And she, she looks everywhere for the flyer for me. And she comes back and she said, no flyer. Didn't come off the truck. I will find out, you know, why and I can let you know. So I said, all right. I says, that's, you know, understandable. But I said, now back to what happened to me. And now I know it was in January. They were telling me it wasn't here and it was here. I says, so, and I says, and that's happened in the past too, where people have said it isn't here and then they find it. So I said, you know, I just, I know Jason's not going to like that. I had you look and check behind him. I says, but it's just because I, I know there's times that it's here and people just don't find it. I said, but the last time when you were out, I was told it wasn't here when it was here. And she said, yeah, I know. It's because they didn't want you to have it that week. They were holding it back. So she says they were just telling you that it wasn't here. And I said, but that's not right to have people lie. You know, it's like all you have to have them say is, Darlene, it's here, but you can't have it. Even if I make a stink about that, well, at least I'm making a stink about something they said that was true instead of me making a stink about something that they said that wasn't true. You know, by telling me it's not here, that didn't solve any problems. I was on a mission to find it. So they, they would have said, it's here, but you can't have it this week. I would have been like, okay, I would have still found out, but I wouldn't have been like, is it here? Please go look for it. I didn't like that. Did not give me good feeling in the tummy area. I was like, oh my God. You know, I told her that day that I was like, you know, this is like all signs pointing to me that it's time for me to stop scanning this flyer. And I explained to her the reasons. Pain to get. I'm stressed out. I am tired of doing it in general. Money is not as good. So, you know, and she's like, well, I, I can find out when it is. And I was like, I know, I know, I know you can find out and find out for me when it's coming or why it's not here. I says, but even if there's, you know, a legitimate reason, it's like, I just feel like it's going to be time for me to stop doing this. So I just wanted to let her know that. So I go in the car and I did a video on that day. I don't think tears were involved that day, but I'll also have that video linked down below for you. And then I went home and I was like, I need to stop doing this flyer. And I just started making that decision on that day, which was Monday, uh, March 14. And it took me, oh, I mean, you know, I was so sick. I was so sick. I don't like, first of all, if I stop doing the flyer, I know I'm going to lose my readership. And I know everybody was like, oh, no, we won't leave you. But you do leave because people don't come to the blog if the flyer is not there. So my views, we're going to do that. And my views did indeed do that. I'm going to build them back up, though. I have a plan. You know, there was just a lot of thought that I had to put into it, a lot of emotion. I just, oh my goodness, it was it was the worst week of, that was Monday, so Tuesday and Wednesday, I was in turmoil, and Thursday, I thought, okay, I will continue to do this, even though I'm not going to make money like I was, even though I am so sick and tired of doing it, but... I have to get the stress factor removed because the stress factor was the one that was killing me. So that afternoon, uh, Marie emails me and says, there was a mix up with the trucks and I will have the flyer on Wednesday. Now I'm gonna read to you. Uh, Ow, I need a table. I need an office up here. I have my mouse, I can use it on my leg. I love a parade. Okay, come on. I'm having a hard time. 
Because I don't, I don't do the, oh, that's why I brought the mouse. I, I'm not a touchpad kind of girl. No, no. I'm from a day when we didn't even have mice. I take it back. See, that's why I wanted proof. I did that all on a Monday. On Tuesday, March 15, I get a private message on Facebook from Marie. She says, Darlene, this is Marie, store director of Sanford Shaw's. I received a response from corporate regarding the missing flyers due to a delivery delay into the Methuen Distribution Center for Shaw's Flyers. Stores that normally receive their flyers on Sunday or Monday will receive them on their next scheduled delivery. I will receive my flyers on Wednesday. What she sent me, and I wrote back, Thank you for letting me know. I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I want to continue posting the flyer. Coupon blogging has taken a dive with earnings, so I really think I need to change careers. Mondays used to be my highest earning days due to the traffic that the flyer brought me, but that has changed drastically. It probably ran its course, but I've been doing it so long that I fear I'll be lost without that flyer. Just scary to make changes like that. But then again, thanks so much for letting me know, and thank you for understanding my concerns that we talked about yesterday. Because when I told her that, you know, I didn't appreciate that they were lying to me. And I remember her specifically saying, I can't help what they say. And I said, but you just alluded to the fact that they were told to lie to me. So they said what they were told. You can help that. You can tell them something else. Like, tell the truth. I need my mouse. My lovely mouse. Okay, so this was her reply back. Again, still on March 15, which is a Tuesday. No problem. If you need anything, all caps, you can count on me. So I counted on her, and I replied, On March 17, now we're up to a Thursday. This is what I had decided on that Thursday. As of Thursday, March 17, I was still willing to do it. And this is what I wrote to Marie. Hi, Marie. After reading many messages, I find that my readers will be practically lost if they don't have my scan of the flyer. They rely on it to know what coupons they need to order so they can get the coupons in time for the sale. Now, do know, I had put it out on Facebook that I was considering this and on my videos, so I was getting tons and tons of messages saying, oh my God, I, I, you, I, 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 what will I do if you don't do that flyer? So I wanted her to know how important that was. I really feel like I should continue to post it. With that said, please, please, please be honest with me about whether or not picking it up on Mondays is an issue. Now, I'm not reading. I'm just elaborating on that. There are times that I just feel like it's the most unfriendly place in the world and that I'm being a big pest. I will say that Jim in the back room love Jim. That man has been like, here you go, Darlene. It's like, thank you for doing this for us. Hi, Jim. Like you, Jim. Okay, so please, please, please be honest with me about whether or not picking it up on Mondays is an issue. I just feel so uncomfortable asking for it. I know there are times that Shaw's wants the flyer to be withheld, and I'm fine with that, but would only ask that I'm told that it needs to be withheld, not just that it's not really there. I'm trying to scroll with my finger. Why won't it do it? Why? Why? Oh, oh I did it. And I'm very uncomfortable with Jason, that's the grocery manager, Mr. No Smiley Face, because he made it clear that he was not happy that I ended up getting the flyer while you were gone on that day when everyone said it was not there, but it was there. Okay, so we're referring back to that first time where I got lied to. The person temporarily taking your place was named Deb, and she was very quick to say I could have it. And Jason was not happy with that and was telling her I couldn't have it. Is that Jason's place to tell her? I would rather have Jason look at me and say, Awesome, Darlene, you can have it. But instead, he was mad that I got it. Hmm. Made me feel like I was guilty of getting my way. Also made me trust no one in the store because I feel that everyone was told to lie to me. 
In fact, a cashier was walking by when Deb told Jason I could have it, and she asked the cashier to go get it for me, and that cashier got it from one of the registers. She was also one of the cashiers that said it was not there. That made me feel totally uncomfortable. And how do you think it made her feel? She must have felt like a fool. So I would love to continue getting the flyer, but I'd love for it to be just sitting at the door like it used to be so I don't have to bother anyone or force anyone to lie to me. I don't want him to have to lie to me. But I understand you might not want it at the door anymore. And the only reason she doesn't want it at the door is because they don't like one shopper who goes there and wants the flyer. And they're very, very open with me about who this person is. And I have complained before about don't talk to me about other customers. None of my beeswax. You know, it's just not cool to throw shoppers under the bus. Huh? Huh? Not cool. Don't like those practices, Sanford Shaw's. It's not just one person who talks to me about that person. I don't mind going to customer service, and if it's not there yet, I have no problem going to the back of the store. Now, I mean, I don't mind doing the legwork, the anxiety part I hate, but I hear children outside. So I have no problem going to the back of the store, but I really need to feel safe, like I wouldn't be lied to, or that Jason can at least smile or something. Jim, not sure of his position, but he's usually out back. He is awesome. He not only makes me feel like I'm not being a pest, but he also makes me feel like I'm doing something nice for Shaw's. I didn't even realize that I threw that in there. We're getting to an end. No more scrolling required. And although I do earn from my blog, I earn nothing from Shaw's. There is no affiliation program for bloggers for Shaw's. And I spent $1,000 of my own money on weekly giveaways for Shaw's gift cards. I finally stopped it because it was costing me too much for nothing in return. By that, I mean I was often made to feel like I was a pain in the butt instead of a customer. So what do you think? Should I continue? I'm so torn. And I used five O's in so... And I did three exclamation points after torn. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Now let's scroll down to her reply. Oh yeah, can't do that because she completely ignored me. I never got a reply. That was on a Thursday. I gave her till Sunday to reply to me. And it was on that Sunday that I did my tag along with me, the Hannaford video, I do believe it was. I'll have a link to that below where I announced that I was done doing the flyer. I'm doing my exercises. Jack LaLanne. Does anybody remember Jack LaLanne? Okay, completely off the subject. Let's get back to the subject. That was it, folks. I really, really tried hard. So instead of being just mad at me, why doesn't everybody just be mad at Marie? Because she never replied to me after she said, what did she say? That she would do anything for me? It was all caps, remember? Obviously, caps don't mean anything. I want to look and see what she said. I love a parade. Why am I singing that? I'm so free to be myself up here with my mother far away from me. No problem. If you need anything, you can count on me. She didn't mean it. I would actually post this on Shaw's page. On Shaw's page. I would actually post this on Shaw's Facebook page, but I just know Dan would... All right, battery died on me, so I have to finish up downstairs. I don't like it downstairs because my refrigerator is very noisy. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, sign off by saying that please know that I tried and I was willing up until the day before I stopped doing the flyer, I was willing to continue doing the flyer. But the non-response from Shaw's after I wrote such a heartfelt note, the non-response just was like... <laughs> These people just don't want me to do this. I mean, they just don't. And, you know, when I first started doing that, there was a whole different crew there. They were nice. They were friendly. They, they seemed to appreciate what I was doing. They let me have coupon classes there. I mean, you know, it was just, it was just nice. It was cozy. Still hated to go get the flyer. I still, I still stressed over that because that's just the way I am. But I was willing to do it because at least it was working good in other areas. I can't go through all the stress that I go through and the lack of money and the, you know, just being sick of doing it and then also have the store 
give me a hard time, lie to me. I mean, it's just, you know, not only lying to me, but then not replying. And, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I think I was saying that I would put this on Shaw's Facebook page, but I know Dan would just delete it. I know he would. Maybe I'll try. Who knows? Maybe you guys can post it. <laughs> Shaw's Supermarket Facebook page. Go find it. I'm just so free now to be able to tell you things that I went through because I don't have to worry now about them saying, well, we don't want her to get the flyer anymore because you know what? I don't want to go get the flyer anymore. So take that, Shaws. With that said, we do still have the flyer on Simply Shaws, simplyshaws.com. It's another blog that I own, and we have other people willing to scan it and, uh, and share their images. And when I get the images, I put them on that page. So you are free to go there to see if and when we have the flyer. No guarantees that it'll be there. No guarantees that it'll be there on Monday every week. You know, we're just going to do what we can, and I'm going to just go with the flow. If people send me the images, I have no problem putting them up there for you. But I'm not going to be doing the picking up of the flyer and scanning it anymore. Even if it magically appeared at my door, I would not because just I just got to go on to other things. And my new thing now is YouTube and daily chit chat. All that stuff that's interesting to me now. I'll get tired of this someday too, but not for a long time. I do have another Shaw story coming for you, so please subscribe so you don't miss it. This is a good one. It is an old one, and it's one that I was told to be quiet about, and I'm not going to hold to that anymore. So uh, I'm not sure when I'll do it. I'm, I'm going to try to do it soon, but for sure subscribe. Even if you don't shop at Shaw's, it's just interesting to, to know how these companies do things. All right, I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Oh! Thumbs up. Subscribe. I need you. I really do.